you're watching the Backyard Tech Channel Midweek Update. Morning all. Well, it is Wednesday. It is Midweek Update time again, as always, here at the Backyard Tech Channel. And so far, I'm actually pretty impressed with how much content I've managed to get out uh, this week. Uh, you look back on the last three or four weeks, and it's been a bit slow getting content out. Uh, but this week so far, I've actually managed to get a fair bit out, which is actually reasonably good so far. I doubt the rest of the week I'll get as much content out regularly, but we'll see how we go. <laughs> it's just gone five past seven in the morning here, and before we get into the rest of the midweek update, Mr. Grumpy's back. It's coffee time. Oh, oh that's good. That is good coffee, even at this hour, or especially at this hour, I should say. Right, let's get into the midweek update and then I'll let you know what's on the cards for the rest of the day here at the Backyard Tech Channel. We kicked it off with a breaking news story regarding PewDiePie. And uh, regardless of what you think of him, he's been left sickened after Brenton Tarrant, the New Zealand terrorist, recommended everyone watching his live stream subscribe to PewDiePie. Not a good look, regardless of what you think about PewDiePie. No one deserves to be dragged into the, that thing. We then did uh, Fridge Swap Parts 3 and 4, getting the thing upstairs and powered up, and Part 4, uh, the final, where we've moved basically everything into the fridge. We had the Sunday edition of the Backyard Tech Channel live stream conversations. We had the TBIM promo. We did the uh, news story regarding social media giants under real government pressure globally to do something about hate speech. And this is gaining a lot of traction, especially here in Australia. Yeah. I, look, it's gonna get ugly. You start getting bureaucrats and politicians involved in what can and can't be posted in some cases you're looking at a real nanny state type environment, which is obviously problematic. Even I've got to admit that's problematic. We took a look at the latest offering from Silent Robot in his series of Arch Linux releases. This one's Salient OS. Dead set fair dink and he's smashed it out of the park. He's absolutely smashed it out of the park. Um, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant uh, version of Arch. And... Like I said, I can see myself sometimes using it, strangely enough, whether it's physically or virtually. We then did another breaking news story. Apple has lost in a pretty big, serious court case up against a jury, a $31 million US patent infringement, which Qualcomm Inc. bought against them. And this is a continuing global struggle between Qualcomm and Apple regarding patent uh, patented technologies bought, made by, obviously, Qualcomm. We had the TBIM edition of the Backyard Tech Channel live stream conversations. Yesterday was actually fairly busy here. We had the uh, Tuesday promo. We did the news story regarding Android antivirus platforms tested by AV Comparatives. And uh, more than two-thirds of most antiviruses available on Google's Play Store are either ineffective or absolutely dead set do nothing. I'm thankful Komodo made the list because I would have been absolutely horrified that Komodo didn't get there. We then did the news story regarding uh, the World Wide Web turning 30 years old, March 1989. We did a breaking news story about Boeing Max Jet pilots receiving, uh, especially for American Airlines, receiving a two hour training course on an iPad and a 13 page booklet being written up, but no one even stepping inside a simulator for a Boeing 737 Max 8 and or 9. And then we had the real time, real -time drive video, Leopold, Drysdale Leopold. I had a few things to do yesterday. And then we had last night's Tuesday edition of the Backyard Tech Channel live stream conversations. So not a bad week so far here. Got a fair bit out. Probably could have got a little bit more out if I'd done a bit more time management, but I managed to get a little bit out so far. <laughs> so there we go. Midweek update done. Now, what's on the cards for the rest of the day here at the Backyard Tech Channel? Got a bizarre news story that's been posted on the Facebook group that astounds me. 
So we're going to have a bit of a look at that. And we'll have tonight's midweek edition of the Backyard Tech Channel live stream conversations around 7pm Australian Eastern Daylight Time GMT UTC plus 11. So that'll be coming up today as well. As always, though, it is middle of the working week for those that work Monday to Friday. We start the downhill run into the weekend today. Maybe if your week so far hasn't exactly been pleasant, probably a good opportunity to maybe just on the side somewhere start thinking about what you're going to get up to for the weekend. Uh, for old mate, it's going to be house hunting by the looks of it again. Ugh. You know, one thing I'll say about house hunting is it can get laboriously boring, strangely enough, sometimes. There we go. Midweek update done. Stick around. Bizarre news story coming up for you very soon. Until then, as always, we shall catch you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.